All right, I'm sitting here. Uh, this is Carter. I'm with uh, Jeffrey West, uh, author of Green Print for Life. And we are just expounding on some dialogue, uh, more so uh, religion, the ideology of religion, the dogmas associated it, associated with it. Yes. Uh, I asked him, uh, as, as for myself, I've shared uh, uh, being in, in Christianity for uh, 20 years or a little more, uh, whether or not he had an experience with uh, uh, a significant yes. emotional event with Christianity. And what your uh, yeah. what your take on that is? Well, I I grew up in a Protestant Methodist background, what uh, what is in Canada known as the United Church, uh, a much more uh, perhaps liberal uh, religion. Uh, the United Church was among the first, if not the first, to take on and allow the ordination of women mm. and to allow the ordination of homosexuals. So in that space, this religion began to expand its awareness in terms of the message that it is communicating to, to humanity. Yeah, it was changing for the times. Exactly. Sure. Yes. And at the time when I was growing up, I, I needed the message of religion to begin to formulate a, a relationship with some kind of divinity. Why, why do you think you needed that? Structure? Perhaps it, perhaps it was an essence of structure, perhaps it was a, more of a social context, getting together with other people to, who, to celebrate a belief in something that we all shared that, common we, understood, that common. we understood as being good. Sure. Most of us weren't aware, in fact I would probably say all of us weren't aware years ago just how religion has entrapped and, sl and, and enslaved humanity. Mm -hmm. So, but at that time, we all believed that God was good, that God had a good intention for humanity, and, the, and that network, that social um, uh, community reinforced uh, a belief that you know, we as together are sharing something for a common good, for what, something that's What better. are some of the things that brought you to uh, a higher consciousness, so to speak, yeah. uh, uh, as to where you are in the journey and the path that you're on I, today. What what enlightened you? What shifted your paradigm, so to speak? When I was really young, there were several ministers uh, with the church that I was beginning to find were not... Uh, their message, the way they were communicating, wasn't quite getting to me. I didn't was quite resonate with your spirit or yes I was finding myself getting really bored sitting through church and sitting through the sermon and I felt a little badly about that but I would start falling asleep sometimes just because I was not interested in the way that message was being communicated then all of a sudden we had a new minister come in uh, a man who brought fantastic energy. He was committed to the youth group of which I was a part. We began to do musicals in a much more lively way. He began to give sermons that were actually funny. He introduced humor in, into the sermon. He brought in very odd uh, tidbits of information. And that began to open up my mind that, hey, religion doesn't have to be this structured, serious, non-comical uh, belief system. And at that point, I began to open up a bit more. This man brought in a message of, of a much larger uh, opening to, to ideas uh, that we were a part of something else. And that began to lead me uh, to more. And at that point, I probably, I think I, at that point, I went away to university, my first university. And I began to explore and try different religions. So I went to the Roman Catholic religion. I. Uh, I didn't go to Buddhism at that point because there was, I wasn't aware of one in Toronto, but when I first lived in Toronto, I was a part of, I lived within the homosexual community. And, you know, the United Church and being in a small town, you're not wholly prepared for the ideas of, of homosexuality. I had to expand that. The United Church began to open that as they took on the ordination of homosexuals. I took on a different relationship. Then all of a sudden, moving into the environment of being among homosexuals. I began to see the lifestyle. I began to observe how people lived. So the progression of religion led me into opening up a bit more and a bit more and a bit more. So I don't want to make religion wrong. I Religion has truths 
to offer people in that particular moment of now that for time what they and are space. seeking. Absolutely. You know, when they need that connection to Absolutely. some form of divinity, it is there to open that. Yeah. At some point or another, though, each soul is going to want to explore what is beyond that. Sure. What 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 really am I seeking in turn? Is religion really giving me that connection to divinity or right. do I need to move into something else? And that's where the journey took me after that, to move beyond religion into a larger spiritual. I think a lot of us have moved uh, out of that space because we want it more and we've seen, if you're, uh, as the uh, scripture would say, study to show yourself approved rightly dividing the word of God or the mm -hmm. word of truth and the word of God or the word of truth may, may mean for you exactly Jeffrey yep. I want to thank you for this time we can, uh, we can expound on that and a little more later on you know, absolutely. the idea of um, uh, jihad for example so what you have just more or less done is introduce the Christian concept of what the Muslim faith calls jihad okay thank you